First of all, thank you so much for having me here. And as John mentioned, I'm from Mongolia. I was born and raised there until I was 18, until I came here for college. So what I'm going to talk about today is very, very close, dear to heart for me. And my main argument today is to make a case for building an AI and advanced technology ecosystem in developing countries such as Mongolia. So I'll give you a little bit of context of, uh, about Mongolia. So it's located between China and Russia. We have a very big land of over 600 square miles, but we only have 3 million people in it. But what's really interesting about it is that half of our entire population lives in our capital, our one big city. As you can imagine, that brings a lot of issues. And one of the main ones that I'd like to highlight here is our pollution. This is a photo that was not edited. This is a, this is, this is a real photo. Ulaanbaatar, our capital city, is in fact the most polluted city in the world. It's above 133 times what the World Health Organization recommends as the maximum level of pollution. And obviously this raises a lot of health, economic, and really just personal societal issues. One of the main things I'd like to highlight here is fetal death. Compared to the summer and the winter, summer where we have the minimum pollution and the winter when we have maximum pollution, fetal death increases by 3.5 times, not percent, times. And that's how crazy it is. Uh, the interesting thing I'd like to highlight here is that this pollution issue is not the only main issue that we face in Mongolia. It's one of the plethora of issues, like, like corruption, like poverty, like alcoholism, one of the many, many issues that we face here. Obviously, the issue is clear and abundant, and it's urgent, and we need to fix it. But the solution, here's a big question mark here. Obviously, the government tries to do a lot through policy and infrastructure, but the main drawback with all of this is that it's a, it's a very long-term solution that takes a long, long time. And when you're living in these cities, as I was, you don't feel the hope or the solution that could be at hand in the near future. And that's where I believe an AI and advanced technology ecosystem can play a significant role in bringing that short-term, quick, and agile solution to such big city and country issues. So when I talk about AI solutions, I'm talking about it in four main aspects. Uh, the first one, private. Two, advanced technology AI. Uh, three, ingrown in Mongolia, and four, has a significant impact with economy. So why am I saying that it should be private? As I mentioned, with the, economy, uh, with the policymakers, the near future, the urgency calls for agile private companies to make the difference. And two, why ingrown? Uh, Mongolian mathematic education is, is actually very, very good. So when you're in middle school, you start taking uh, calculus classes. When you're in ninth grade, you're taking US level college calculus classes already. And our second most popular university is actually a science and technology university producing thousands of engineers and sci scientists every year. And three, why AI? Uh, we have lost faith in the information that's presented to us because of our mistrust in the, in the politics, politicians, as well as the media. So advanced technology that's based on data, based on transparency, based on the belief that this technology or this solution is made for you, the humans who live in the city, who live in this country, is the reason why I believe that advanced technology is the main reason, uh, is the main solution. And fourth, as I mentioned, economy. With the advanced technology changes that's happening in the future of the world, of course, uh, there are some challenges that developing countries will change. For example, upkeeping with such big changes. Having this ecosystem, one, will upskill and prepare us for the biggest trans uh, transformations, disruptions that's happening in the future, but also bring out solutions that fix local problems, but also can be scaled up in a global level, because pollution Yes, it's worse than Ulaanbaatar, but it's not a unique problem to Ulaanbaatar. And that is why I believe that we need to create a, a, a dynamic ecosystem in Ulaanbaatar, in Mongolia, to solve these issues. And I'd like, I specifically wanted to bring this issue to the stage because Mongolia is one of the 
many 150 developing countries in this world that you know bright minds like you in this room are creating the solutions for. And I just wanted to highlight that uh, we need you. We have a lot of potential. And there's a big room for solution. Thank you.